All right, guys, the Illuminati is watching us, and they might kill me shortly after making this video, but I have figured out the truth. You may have heard of this man. His name is Aubrey Graham, and he is mostly famous for playing Jimmy Brooks on Degrassi. I'm Aubrey Graham, and this is my life, unscripted. But after debuting his single, Black and Jewish, he made a career in music. I'm black and Jewish, don't be so foolish. He named himself Drake after Drake and Josh. Now, I have never heard of Drake before. I knew that there was a fake Drake, but not a real one. But this dude is no joke. From early on in his career, it was speculated that Drake was going to become the greatest white rapper to come out since Krispy Kreme. Over time, Drake accomplished a world record for most mid-albums, meaning they're not bad, but they're not good either. He's not the worst, but he's definitely not the best. And soon enough, we realize Drake's weakness, underage girls. In 2010, a 24 year old Drake would bring a fan on stage, kissing her neck, hugging her from behind. He eventually asked her age, which he said 17. Drake responded by saying, I can't go to jail yet, and he kept humping her. Later that night, it's rumored that he banged her. A few years later, Drake performed at Kylie Jenner's Sweet 16, and according to Kenny West, he banged her too. Now in 2018, Drake was dating Bella Harris, who was 18 at the time. It seems like he was respecting the age of consent. Not really though, because he met her when she was 16, and that's when he first banged her. Now back in 2021, he released his mid-ass song, End Too Deep, and he recited these lyrics. Step to my girl, hands getting thrown up. February 19 is the day of the glow up. At the time, Millie Bobby Brown was 17 and her birthday was February 19. Drake wanted people to assume he waited till she turned 18, but he probably didn't. Later in the song, he said, baby, that pussy was so worth the wait. Some people speculate that he started getting down with her when she was just 14. This brings us to Ice Spice. Now back in September, Drake flew out Ice Spice so he could try to bang her. We don't really know what happened, but after she left, he unfollowed her. Then he dissed her, saying, she at 10, trying to rap, it's good on mute. Which led many to believe that she didn't let Drake hit, and she responded by saying, at least I'm a 10. Maybe their history dates before that. Back in January 2017, Drake was seen in New York City where Ice Spice lives. Nine months later, in October, Adonis is born. It's possible that Ice Spice is the true mother of Drake's child. If you want more proof, she was 17 at the time of conception and that's Drake's favorite age. Come on, it's all adding up. Anyway, this is all theory and speculation. If she was actually the mother, she'd probably be going after them Degrassi royalty checks. But you can't deny that little jit definitely looks like a whiter version of Ice Spice. Let me know what you guys think of this conspiracy. I'm out.